this is your boy the duck coming at you with a fundamentals video today we are again starting our fundamentals of marksmanship series with you so the first fundamental we are coming at you with is going to be grip all right again this is something that is going to kind of make or break you from the start because grip is that first contact we make with that gun it's going to be the first opportunity we have to create as much control with this firearm as possible. So, we are using a CERT training pistol. So, for all you safety Nazis out there, this is just a basically laser pointer that has a gun wrapped around it. Um, it does not have any live ammunition in it. It has weighted mags. So, this is a good training tool. And for those of you that are newer to shooting, this might be something that is a great... Uh, you know tool that you guys could use to build your skills do some of that dry fire practice at home there's a lot of apps you can download but that's for another video so grip couple things here now what is our goal we want to create as much contact with this firearm as possible all right the more contact we have with this gun the more control we're going to have over it so let's start from the uh the beginning here so we need to get that primary hand. Obviously, most of you guys are probably right-handed. Um, for those of you that haven't learned how to use your right hand yet, those lefties out there, um, just kind of switch what I'm saying here. All right, so we're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna get nice and high on this firearm. All right, we wanna get up into this curve or tang, that is it's called. Um, we wanna get as high into that as we can. We're gonna get our three fingers around the front and obviously we're keeping that trigger finger off that trigger until we are on target. Whether this is a training pistol or not, we're still gonna have those healthy habits. Now, getting into this curve is going to keep your hand protected from the slide coming back and forth, but it's also, again, gonna give you that good reference point to get your hand nice and high into that gun, okay? Now, you will notice that now leaves us with this wonderful big old gap of an area right here on the other side of the grip. So this is where our support hand comes into place. We're gonna take that support hand, get nice and high again on that grip. Four fingers around the three, both thumbs on the left side of that target. One of the biggest mistakes we see with new shooters is they wanna wrap both hands around the back of that gun. And when this slide comes back and forth, it will then give you a nice little bite on your hand, which is never fun. And we don't wanna get injured trying to learn how to shoot. So again left hand is going to be on the uh, left side of that gun four fingers around the front both thumbs on that left target now just a little trick something that i would recommend to you try to focus on taking your left thumb and you're trying to poke that target all right imagine you're poking your thumb into that target what it will do for you is it will straighten out your wrist and what you'll notice is when you straighten out that wrist you're automatically kind of pushing forward into the gun which is going to help you mitigate that recoil that's coming back and forth all right so by pushing into that gun now when this gun recoils and goes off we're already going to be pushing it back onto target all right so again we want to try to get as much contact as possible now another mistake we see people will tuck this thumb and then they grip on top of that thumb but if you can look there you'll see that that leaves almost all of that grip all through here with no contact well, if we're not contacting, we're not controlling. Let's just name it a game. So get that thumb up, get into that nice little cavern there, get nice and wedge it in there, and boom, we got that nice solid. You'll see now I'm gripping all around that grip, which is gonna give me more control. Now, last thing, a lot of people ask me, how firm do I need to grip this gun? And you're, you'll, you'll hear people all the time, 20%, 80%, 60, 40. Well, I don't know about you guys, I don't know how to judge percentage of grip. So what I will tell you is just a good firm handshake on the gun. All right, you don't wanna be squeezing so tight that you start shaking the gun, but you do wanna have that nice firm grip on that gun. Here's something to think about for my guys out there. You're meeting your father-in-law to be for the first time. And let's be real, this old man knows that you're having sex with his daughter. So you need to establish dominance. So when you shake his hand, what do you do? You have that nice firm handshake. You're letting him know, yeah, man, I do things to your daughter that you're probably not happy about, but we're cool. All right, so focus on that nice firm grip, establish dominance, and this is your father-in-law. Establish that dominance with that grip. Make sure this bad boy knows you're in control. 
So this is gonna be your first fundamental video on grip. Hope you guys are already enjoying this. As you see, again, we're just bringing you as much information as we can here, but we're also trying to keep it as simple as possible, which is what we're gonna do with this entire series. So if you haven't subscribed yet, click below, subscribe, so you don't miss out on the uh, more videos we got coming out. Otherwise, hope you guys are enjoying this. We'll see you tomorrow with our next fundamental. Take care, be safe.